I'll take you through participatory mapping as one of the as one of the part of Laman Hulia projects. On my table, I would like you to see how we work with the communities to gather information to map the flood prone areas. We use pencil. We, we have the updated base map, tracing paper to map the flood prone areas. But during our, our mapping process, we carry out community forums with the communities and uh, ward officers and sub ward officers. They sketch the flood prone areas on, uh, on the tracing paper which is laid on top of the base map. After tracing the flood prone areas, the information gathered is then digitized and uploaded to OpenStreetMap. We use InnerSafe to prepare the flood inundation models. With InnerSafe, we use a hazard layer for our cases, these are flood prone areas which have been identified by the local communities together with their wards. We combine the exposure layer, which is the layer of the buildings, lots, or population. Our main aim is to get the population that will be at risk. The next slide shows the INSF analysis outputs. INSF analysis outputs, uh, for our case, the outputs shows which buildings are vulnerable to flooding, which lots are vulnerable for flooding. This information is very useful to the communities and local government officials as well as disaster managers. When they are planning in responding to disasters, as they will be sure of on how many resources and which resources are at risk. Thanks.